your own uh, Dr. Salos Klasirima, State Vice President of the Republic of Malawi, who is also UTM President. Honorable Patricia Galiati, Secretary General of UTM, also Minister of Gender. Deputy National Publicity Secretary, Honorable Chris Kanyasho, MP, and all senior members of the party present here, members of the media handling this live coverage here, and those covering the event from media houses that are streaming the event live. Your Honor, before proceeding with the program, allow me to request Pastor Karo Msuku of Pillar of Hope International Ministries to open the event with a prayer. Your Honor, sir. Your Honor, the Vice President of Malawi, and all leaders respected present here, let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We worship your mighty God, King of glory, because of the wonderful time that we have gathered in this place. Father, we are praying, Almighty God, for this function. May you, Lord Almighty God, be the engineer of everything that will happen in this place. We are praying, Almighty God, because of our leader, the Vice President of this country, Dr. Saurus Chirima, as he's going to present the issues that affect this country. Father, we are praying, Almighty God, for the wisdom to be upon him. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you cover him, Almighty God, with your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus that give him wisdom, Almighty God, to speak the word from you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying, Almighty God, as we read in the Bible, 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 1, the time David went, went, came from the war, Father, we saw that there were so many fights that were there between him and the soldiers. They found that the city of Ziggurat was burnt into fire. Father, the people that were with him, they wanted to stone David, but David, in verse 6, strengthened himself. And he went to Abiatha and asked the direction, and they prayed to God if they can pursue the war. And God said, you can pursue, and you are going to recover it. Father, I'm praying, Almighty God, for the Vice President. He's passing through a lot. Father, I'm praying that he, he cannot do without you. But you alone, God, you can hold his hand, direct him, God, give him peace, and God, give him wisdom on how to lead uh, this country as a vice president. Father, we thank you, almighty God, because we know that our help comes from you. As you say in Psalms chapter 121, you say, where my help comes from? The help comes from the Lord, the Lord who does not sleep nor slumber. We rely on you, almighty God, in everything. May you, God, direct your servant. May you, Lord, give peace your servant. May you, Lord, deliver your servant in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We worship you as we leave everything into your hands. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Msuku. Good morning, fellow Malawians. Listen to us from ac across the country and worldwide. My name is Frank Tumpale Mwenifumbo. I'm the National Publicity Secretary of UTM, and I'll be your Director of Ceremonies this morning. Your Honor, on Friday last week, you promised the UTM family, the country, and the world at large that you'll be making a statement to the nation this week. And that day is today and now. As we all have noted and observed events uh, preceding today, the nation is waiting with bated breath to hear from you, sir. Therefore, I'll be shortly be leaving the podium to pave way for your speech, sir. Suffice to say that the speech has been long overdue. Therefore, Your Honor, I, hum I humbly request that uh, you make your statement in English, followed by uh, Chichewa, 
thereafter that will conclude the event this morning. Your Honor, sir. Uh, thank, <clears throat> thank you very much. Allow me to say all protocols uh, observed. Fellow Malawians, good morning. I have been mostly quiet since we got into government. Not for the misbegotten reason some may find appealing but out of a sense of duty and responsibility for the orderly running of government. I have not been quite out of arrogance towards you, fellow Malawians. As the Vice President of this country, I took off to save my country, to save you, fellow Malawians, and to do so by assisting His Excellency Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chakwera President of the Republic of Malawi in executing duties of his office. I have to observe the limits of the powers and duties as provided for by the Constitution. I believe that this is logic of our constitutional setup and one I am committed to observe. And so, I have rather been focusing on delivering assignments that were entrusted to me as part of delivering on the promises we made to this nation. At all times, I have aimed 